Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of magnets. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. The diagram below shows a machine which can be used to separate some items. We have a mixture of items here, sand, copper coins, iron fillings and plastic buttons. Now, these items are being rolled down towards the machine which consists of two sets of moving belts, belt X and belt Y. As you can see, some objects are moving towards belt X. What is so special about belt X? Yes, there is a magnet in belt X, which means the magnet will attract all the what kind of materials? Yes, all the magnetic materials. So let's write it down. The magnet is going to attract all the magnetic materials. So again, why are some objects moving towards the magnet in belt X? It is because they are being a attracted by the magnet and therefore what can we conclude about those materials? They are magnetic materials. So all the magnetic materials will be attracted to the magnet in belt X and will be collected inside container A. And how about container B? What would be collected in container B? Yes, all the non-magnetic materials. Why? Because all the non-magnetic materials will not be attracted to the magnet. Hence, what will happen to them? They will just fall onto belt Y and they will be collected into container B. So, magnetic materials will be collected in container A while non-magnetic materials will be collected in container B. Let's look at the question, which of the following objects can be found in container B? As what we discussed earlier, only non-magnetic materials can be found in container B. So let us identify what are the non-magnetic materials in the mixture over here. So sand is a non-magnetic material. How about copper coins? Uh -huh. This is where students get tricked. They identify copper as a magnetic material because some students tend to get confused with this as they remember the magnetic materials as S-I-N-C. What does S-I-N-C stand for? S stands for steel. I stands for iron. N stands for nickel. And what does C stand for? Is it copper? No, C stands for cobalt, not copper. So do take note, copper is a non-magnetic material. How about iron? Yes, iron is a magnetic material. And how about plastic? Plastic is a non-magnetic material. So the non-magnetic materials in the mixture would be sand, copper, and plastic buttons. And since only non-magnetic materials can be found in container B, these are the objects that will be found in container B. Sand, copper coins, and plastic buttons only. Therefore, answer is number four. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right-hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!